Hi everyone and welcome to the third Sunday of Advent here on our YouTube channel and we are as always your hosts Arna and Carlos and uh, we are bringing you a little Christmas magic every day here on our YouTube channel we've got our Advent calendar going on from December 1st until December 24th and on the Sundays of Advent we're doing additional episodes so yep. you have a lot to look forward to during the Christmas season here with us and today we are going to make something that is very important for Carlos. We are going to make a Swedish dish. Yeah, which is not only very important to me, but it's something Arne hates. Well, so I can't eat it. So... I, don't, I don't eat it very often because of him. But anyway, um, it is one of the most delicious things in the planet. And I mean, <laughs> if you have never had this, and if you like anchovies, but you've never ever had this, I can guarantee you, that if you make this, the first bite will take you to heaven. If you don't like it, don't eat it. The first bite will not take you to heaven. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or that's maybe. How it is. <laughs> that's or maybe. exactly where you go. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we are going to be doing the very famous uh, Swedish dish, Jansons Frestelse, uh, which is an essential part of the Smurgosbord. Uh, which is the Christmas table in Norway. Yeah. Um, uh, my mouth is watering as I think about it, so I can't wait to get into the kitchen. Uh, but it's not going to be so easy because we're going to freeze it and bring it to our friends uh, for Christmas, because otherwise um, I can't eat so much of that by myself. I, I can, but then I'll <laughs> probably die. <laughs> no. Anyway, before we do, we're going to light the candle. Uh, today we are lighting three candles. So we are lighting a candle for joy. First one for joy, and the second one for, no I don't remember, for hope, hope, and the third one for longing, longing, lengsel, lengsel, and we are longing for Christmas, I am longing for my Jansus <laughs> Festesse, so, so let's go into the kitchen. Yeah. See you in the kitchen. See you in the kitchen. So, are you ready to do the Janssons, Anna? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of ready, but not ready for eating it. No, I know. It's not your favorite. No. And actually, for Christmas, uh, if I prepare this dish, I will never prepare it for Arne. I will prepare the same dish, but without the uh, anchovies yeah. for you. Yeah. So, uh, but today we're going to do it the hardcore way. Yeah with anchovies and you don't have to eat it. No, so, um, I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, but I'd love it if you introduce uh, the ingredients for everybody. Okay, so potatoes and onions, butter, milk, cream and anchovies. And one more ingredient you forgot? Uh, what's this? Ströbre? What's that? It's like dried bread. Grated bread? Grated bread. So just if you don't, if you can't buy it ready-made, just go, leave your bread out for three days, and then grate it in one of those grating machines, yeah. and uh, you are ready to go. Ströbre. Yeah. Rasp. But this is hardcore. Yeah. I like it's abba. Mm. So. Yeah, that's the only thing you like about that. <laughs> the only it's, thing it's I like about anchovies is the box. Yeah. Okay, Carlos. And uh, and then we've got um, this which is where we'll be putting the whole thing and baking it in the oven. Yeah. And I have here my go-to Swedish cookbook, uh, Anna's Mat, Nia Anna's Mat. Uh, it's a Swedish cookbook that uh, my parents gave me a long, long time ago. And it has all the traditional Swedish recipes. You this, used a lot, look at it. Yeah, I've used it a lot. And this cookbook is in Swedish. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't think there is an English version. I have no clue. But anyway, it's Nia Anna's Mat. And uh, here on page 61, you have Jansson's Frestelse. What does that mean, Arne? <laughs> oh, Jansson's, Jansson, that's the last name, and uh, Frestelse, that's temptation. Yeah, so, so it's the, the temptation of Mr. The, uh, Jansson. Jansson's, Jansson's. Or Mr. Jansson's temptation. Okay, Arne. He had an uh, acquired taste. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Yeah. So, I have already prepared a, see. a little bit, but I thought you could help me with the last potato. Yeah, so, so I have something um, to do. Yeah, so I'm gonna just give you the recipe. I'm just gonna say quickly the, the stuff you need 
And then you can always go to our blog or look in the description down below and you'll see the entire recipe there. You need two onions, which is what we have there. There's a little bit more than a kilo of potatoes over there. Some butter, two uh, boxes of anchovies fillets and you cannot throw away the liquid inside because we need that as well. Uh, you are going to need uh, two uh, deciliters of cream and one deciliter of milk. So I'm gonna go get my deciliter so, uh, thingy. Do I use this knife? Yeah. This is the dangerous one. Well, yeah, this is my, my Japanese This is a good knife. knife but but hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start uh, heating up some butter, but very little butter in the pan, and then I'm gonna put all the onion in it and I'm gonna let the onion cook until it gets nice and soft. So that's number one. And then you've got to cut up the potatoes like matchsticks or like french fries. Yeah. So you think you can do this? That's why I just want to start because I'm so slow. Yeah. I have only one potato. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking 10 minutes for the onion. I'm thinking Arnett will probably spend 20 minutes doing that. That's why I'm gonna start now. Yeah. Because this takes forever. But remember Arnett, today you have 10 minutes. So take your time. Ten minutes. You want like really nice size? Like, I don't think I can get the same size on everything. And because our fan, our fan is a little noisy, we're not going to do the fan. Um, so I think I might actually open the window a little bit just in case. It's not so cold outside. It's warm actually. Yeah, crazy warm for the season, yeah. Okay, there we go. Does it matter if some get a little bit more thin than the other? Um, you know what? I'll let, it, I'll let you decide. Okay. It's your call. I see yours are not so perfect either. Well, isn't it you that says that they're going to go down yeah. to the same place anyway? Yeah, but I'm not picky. I'm, I'm picky because you are picky. I try to make it correct. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put a little more butter here because... I'm glad you prepared some of this, Carlos, because this uh, takes forever. Yeah. So, the Janssons is a traditional element in the Swedish smörgåsbord. You've probably heard of a smörgåsbord before. And smörgåsbord, if you translate it literally, smörgås is a sandwich. So smörgåsbord means a, a table of sandwiches, but it actually means a table of everything. So in a traditional Christmas table in Sweden, you will have everything, the Swedish meatballs, the Janssons, the different kinds of cabbages, the Christmas ham, the different vegetarian dishes, um, the little sausages, um, and so on and on and on. So, what's clever, what's very clever about a smurgos board is that you can prepare everything in advance, like far in advance, and you can freeze it. And then you can start defrosting before Christmas and reheating, which is really good. Um, and we're going to freeze this and uh, take it to our friends for Christmas Eve. So we're not going to taste it here anyway because, you know, you... Well, oh, I don't eat it. Are I'm you finished, finished already? I'm finished. What can I do now? Okay, so... Can I do something? Yeah, Should the I onion take is the water not, off? The There's onion water. Not ready yet. No, 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 leave it, leave it. The onion is not ready yet. So what you can do is you can butter up this dish. You know, butter. Do I, what, how do I do that? With butter and your hand, maybe? I don't know. Just what, take it? Wash your hand. And, uh, uh. Because I had an accident with the printer. Yeah, okay. So I'm no, but I should have uh, like a piece of paper and hold it in a piece of paper. Well, for once, I want you to take your time because it's, uh, this is taking its time. So I'm taking take your my time. time. You see, I'm not only a Virgo all the time. I can also relax and unwind. <laughs> because now you have to. Look, look, Carlos, this is how you do it. You take a piece of paper, then you grab the butter, and then you can do it. 
you can't just hold it in your hands. Do you want it up on the side as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everywhere. I'm good. Hmm? Yeah, very good. You would never have done it this way. Okay, so meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the liquids that are going to go in the yonsos. Um, and it is the milk mixed with the cream and some of the uh, juices from the anchovies. So we are going to do two dozen liters of cream, heavy cream actually, the thickest cream you can think of. I think this is good, is it? Yeah. We are going to do a deciliter of milk. And we are going to do approximately three tablespoons of the anchovies liquid. So here we go. Let me open this up a little bit. And then let me get the measuring spoon. And Arne, could you maybe go and stir the pot with the onion a little bit, please? Yeah. I can One. do that. The onion is actually very good. Two. And so for the uh, anchovies, I'm using the, the Swedish brand ABBA and uh, you may actually be able to get this in your country if you go to IKEA. IKEA has a supermarket or a, an area where they do sell um, food items and they will probably have uh, this. What would you put in it if you don't use anchovies? Just, no, yeah, just the whole thing without the anchovies. So why don't we do that? Because this is so good. At least for me anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then um, you don't actually need to salt it because you can imagine how salty the water of the liquid is. It's really, really salty. So there's no need to put any salt uh, in this dish. And there's no pepper either. Okay. Is so, this finished? Actually. Yeah, no, let it go. Um, okay. okay, so you did ask a question and the book actually answers it. So let me read this. Yeah. It says, uh, it's going to take me a while because I have to translate it in my head. So veget vegetarian Jansson, vegetarian um, Jansson, also a very good temptation. Follow the original recipe, but exchange the anchovies with, oh, tartex paste, which is some kind of a vegetarian pate, um, hmm. which we don't have. <laughs> And then add a little bit of fine. Yeah, no, I mean, I just, you know, if you take out the anchovies, you've got a vegetarian uh, one. But you do need to do salt and then pepper, you have, maybe. Yeah. yeah, you do. Mm. Okay, so, how's the onion coming along? Oh, looking good. good. Perfect. Okay, are we ready to build our Janssons? Yeah, is it, is that finished now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Arne. We're going to build the Janssons now. So, am I building or you? Uh, let's you do should, it both you of should us. build. Or both of us. Can we sit and build? Yeah. Okay. I'm putting the oven 225 degrees Celsius. And uh, now I am going to get a little. Okay. So, let's start building the Janssons. <laughs> we need is spooky food. Yeah. No, it's good food. So we need a layer of potatoes for the bottom. Okay. So just spread it out like this. Yep. How much do you think? Like a cover, cover the bottom. A There's cover. quite a lot of potatoes there. Okay. Should I take the water off? Yeah, take the water off. So we want a layer of potatoes. Then we want a layer of onions and a few anchovies. Then we want a layer of potatoes. 
Then we want the anchovies and the onion, another layer of potatoes, and then the breadcrumbs on top. This is really a carb, a carb bomb, if there was one. Oh, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, it's on the floor, and there we are. Okay, so we'll do the onion. Mm -hmm. We're doing half the onion here. And you know what? If you love anchovies, this is probably one of the most delicious... Moose, moose! Moose, moose! This is probably one of those most delicious things you will ever eat. And if you hate anchovies, this is one of the most awful things <laughs> you will ever eat. Now, um, Eric... I, I have never tasted it. Would you like to taste this? No. No, you don't want to taste it. Anna? Yep. So Anna's in. Uh, Anna, apparently Anna's husband loves this because mm -hmm. he's also Swedish, just like me. Arne? I think you would uh, change... If you've not have it, had it before, maybe you would change your mind when you feel, when you smell well. it. No, but to put it this way, if you've never had this before and you like anchovies, do it. Do it. It's going to change your life and you are going to love it. Okay? Now so comes... No. Oh. Mm. Those are so disgusting. Okay, give me, the, give me the cutting board and the knife. Would you care to handle these? No, no, no thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Maybe you want to go crochet and knit instead? Or do you just want to watch me do this? But look, it looks like worms. Ooh, this is so good. Oh my god. So amazing. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 It's like they crawl when you... S They're use dead. Them. I know, but anyway. Mm. So good. <laughs> Very good. So tell everybody about the first time you had this. Because actually the first time you had this, it was here with my parents. They brought it from Sweden. And you didn't know what it was. No, I tasted it and I, could, I couldn't eat it. <laughs> and I had that and show this taste because I can't... When he put I, it I in... I, like at, the time, at the time, I really didn't know that he hated anchovies. So he put it in his mouth and suddenly he was looking at me and the, his eyes were popping. <laughs> I was like... Yeah. Do you remember what the first time I made you pizza? I know you made pizza with anchovies. I don't know why you did that because because I love it. But I didn't know you didn't like it at the time. Okay, so we'll do a, potato, a layer of potatoes. And I remember once in Italy you ordered pizza with anchovies, and it smelled all over the place. Yeah, but it's good. It's disgusting. Mm. I'm not selling this one. What? You're not? I'm selling it. Because <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. A little more. Okay. How many layers do you want? No. So, layer of potatoes, onions and chovies. Now, this is the second layer of potatoes. Second, oh. second layer of onions. Yeah, and then... And then we'll put the anchovies. And the rest of the potatoes. And then the rest of the potatoes go on top. Actually, the onions and the potatoes could be very good. Yeah. And oh. so, the anchovies too, my dear. Yeah, no, I was very sorry when, uh, <laughs> when you had this un unintentionally. But no, I didn't know. You never told me in the beginning that you didn't like anchovies. And yeah, I was inspired Look, by the... What is that? That's the anchovies. That's the tail. Oh, come on. It's good. It is a tail. It's not. A... Okay. Anyway, let's put some more anchovies in here. It is so delicious, so delicious. I mean, of course, every, everybody's gonna love this. It's potatoes. It's cream. It's onions, and it's the most delicious fish in the world. I love it so much. Did you use all that salty thing? Yeah, in the in the creamy thing. Oh. Okay. You're finished with this one. Yeah, and I think we'll just not put that in because no, you... It is a tail. ...are picking out already. I can see you. So now the rest of the potatoes. The rest of the potatoes go on top. Yeah. And then my recipe... You know, I do this so seldom because Arne hates it. But when I do it... Mm. 
But it looks good when you look at it. Yeah. But if you don't like anchovies, no. It's not for me. Okay? Hmm. Okay. So there's a trick to doing this the proper way so that it doesn't dry out because it's going to be in the oven for uh, quite a while. It's going to be in the oven for about 45 minutes. But what you want to do is you want to put half the um, cream mixture, the cream and milk and um, anchovies mixture. I'm going to add a little extra because it's so good. <laughs> you want to put only half of it now, let it bake for 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll put the rest. Oh, and we're going to need all this butter as well. Okay, so I'm going to put the cream inside, and why yeah. don't you put the little clicks of butter that go on the top. Okay. So take clicks of butter and put it on the top. And if you run out, we've got more in the fridge. And I'm going to put half, half my liquid. And you just do it like that. Do you use one of these? A little bit on this side. A little on this side. Yeah, and then we leave the rest for later. You think it's enough? No, I think we should uh, grab the next butter. Open up a new butter and put a few more clicks because, you know, butter is the best spice. It is. And while you do that, you can uh, put that in the fridge as well. Okay. And finally, I've got my grated bread. You can also use panko. Panko is also uh, okay for this. The uh, onion is strong. Yeah. Mm. So this is the paper, like when you put this butter in the... Yeah. In the... I have an idea. Let's do, use, use this and just a couple more. Okay. And that'll be it. Mm, this is good. But, you know, the corners are very important. Okay. That's where the best part is when you take okay. it out of the oven. Like a pizza. Is that no? What's it called? The lasagne. Lasagne. Yeah. yeah. Be careful with the your fingers. I think yeah. One more in that corner, and we're ready to put the bread. Okay. Here we go. Two uh, tablespoons of bread. Um, my tablespoon measure is wet now, so I'm going to use the regular tablespoon and just put that over. But that can't do a big difference if oh, you have you, more or less. Yeah. But you know, I love it when this just uh, gets golden and the bread just uh, crunches up and creates this beautiful golden crust. I mean, really, this is a dish for heaven. Probably that's why it's called Ianson's Temptation. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, it's supposed to be two, but I love it so much, so I'll add an extra. It's nice when you have that on top. Yeah. So this get, turns brown. Yeah, golden brown. Gold. Okay, so oven, 225 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put down uh, the Fahrenheit thingy in the description as well when I put the recipe. Um, in it goes for 30 minutes, and when uh, we've done 30 minutes, we will be back, and I will put the rest of the cream in, and then it's going to go in the oven for another 15 minutes. So wow. stay tuned. Oh, and perfect timing. It's huh? warm. Okay. Oven is warm. Put it in the oven. So I'm going to put it in the oven. You can tidy this away, yeah. and uh, we'll get rid of this. This is what you don't like. No, thank you. Not eating that. Oi, oi, oi. In it goes. Okay, see okay. you in a bit. 30 minutes. Bye.
Finished. Finished. There we go. Well, not quite finished. Almost finished. Almost finished. Okay, let's take it out. As I said, it's very important it doesn't dry out, so we need to put the remaining uh, cream. It and looks showbiz. nice. It's beautiful. But it does, and it doesn't smell at show. Oh, it smells mm. delicious. Oh, come on. This oh. is how Christmas should smell. And uh, as I was saying before, this is food for heaven. Anyway, so it's very important. When you pour the, the, the cream now, don't pour it on the top because you're going to destroy all of this, which is dried out now, which is really nice. But the bottom should be nice and moist and saucy. So what you do is you grab your cream and you go on one of the sides like that and then you do it the same on this side here very carefully like that I think you could make small portions just for you Carlos yeah I could because you love this I do but this is really easy you know I let it cool down and then I can just freeze this and then take it out couple of days before Christmas uh, it'll keep in the in the fridge for a few days and then all you need to do is heat this up again and that's it okay so mmm yum is oh that my all? god yeah so now we put the rest of the cream in and now in it goes again for the final 15 okay. minutes of joy uh, and then 15 minutes more and then we've got a wonderful Janssons one of the best dishes in the world if you ask me <laughs> <laughs> don't ask Arne. No, don't ask me. So we'll be back 15? just to take it out of the oven and show you how amazing it looks. What's the temperature? 225. On, on this one? Or? Yeah. Let's go. 225. And as I said before, no. no, don't touch that. Don't. 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah. And as I said before, the recipe is on the description down below. And if you by any chance uh, are a Swedish speaker, we highly recommend this cookbook, Nia Anna Smart. It is my go-to Swedish cookbook. I use it for everything from quiche to pancakes to Janssons Frestelse to meatballs. It's really good. So let's clean up and we'll be back in 15 minutes. Yeah, see you in 15 minutes. See you. Toodaloo. Some washing up to do, I guess. I think we have some washing up to do. So the bells of heaven are ringing and <laughs> the Johnson's is ready. And you know what? I said I wasn't. But I am. You need to taste it. Oh yeah. Oh goody. Oh, this looks amazing. And it's all crispy and all golden on the top. And it's not dry because I can still see the cream bubbling on the outside. Oh, look at this. Okay, so I gave you some a little Ooh. little plate for you. Look at this. Now, Arne, the trick is, because I'm going to freeze it, right? Mm. You don't need a big plate. No, 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 no. So, that's the thing. I'm going to bring this to our friends, and I don't want to know, I, I don't want our friends to know that I've been in it, right? So, the trick is it. to just grab a little bit and just try it. But anyway, look at this. This is what it's supposed to look like. You're supposed to see the cream. You see the cream around it, and it's all thickened. And you've got the loveliness of the crusty bread. But you can't bread. eat it. It's so warm. It's bubbling. Don't worry. I'll eat it. Okay, I'm going to steal this potato here. Mmm. And I'm going to go in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. And take a little bit of the... Oh, yeah, a little bit of the anchovies is going to come in here. And then just move this. Okay. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to do the same. Oh, and here is a big anchovy stuff. Oh my me. god. There we go. And then I'm going to put this here. You see? There's no sign of... There's no sign of anybody any, being anybody, in there. Anybody. And I've got a delicious... Mm, okay. The moment of truth. Would you like to try? No, thank you. Are you sure? <laughs> I know what it tastes okay, like. Okay, more for me then. Yeah. Was it good? Mm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You've got the saltiness from the liquid and the anchovies. And you've got the delicious cream. Mm. I think I would try to make one without anchovies. Mm. Because actually the cream and oh the potatoes my God. can be very good. These potatoes are to die for. And then, oh, a crunchy one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, Arna. Uh, <laughs> this is all I want for Christmas. <laughs> you got it. You, you, mm. have, you get it for Christmas. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think that I'm too busy eating this yeah, now. So I think we, we, we better stop now. I have to get out of the kitchen. Mm. Why don't you do the formalities? Yeah. So if you like our episode, put your thumbs up and subscribe and make comments. And we will see you again mm. tomorrow, actually, because we have Advent calendar. Yeah. So you have to yeah. watch the Advent calendar. Advent calendar continues until December 24th. Yeah. And I am in heaven right now. So see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Take it away. No. We're going to put some um, wrap on it yeah. and put it in the freezer. Okay. Can you get the uh, tin foil? Hi, everybody. We're as always your hosts, Arne and Carlos. And on this year's advent calendar, we have the most amazing prize ever. You can win a private meet and greet with Arne and me on Zoom, and you get to bring two friends. Now, how amazing is that? Yeah, you won't miss that one. So go to our advent calendar and... Find out more. Find out more. See you on YouTube. See you. Bye.